Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is Abacus teacher training course. So let's start with the question number 171. So before that, I want to tell you about this tool. So basically, lower bead, each bead has one value. For addition, we always use thumb. For subtraction, we always use index finger. For upper bead, each bead has five value. For addition and subtraction, we use index finger only. Okay, so whenever I'm going to do these questions, you have to look at my finger movements. Okay, this is important while you are teaching your students. So we have 20. So this is the dotted rod is my once rod and the, on the left hand side the, uh, next to this rod is my tens rod. So this is once and this is tens. So it is 20. So 2 here and 0 here. For 0 we don't need to put anything. We don't need to show anything. So it is 20. It's understood. Now plus 2. So I need to do plus 2 on once rod not on tens rod. Then plus 6. So plus 6 pinch in. Okay. Then minus 3 we have to do on once rod. So the answer is 2 and 5 that means 25. Remember when we are using the tens rod you have to make sure after 20 it is 2. So you don't need to add 2 in your tens rod. This is the basic mistake which we always do as a student right. Since you are uh, a teacher and you are going to teach your students. So you have to make sure that these mistakes they won't repeat okay. You have to teach them the way I am explaining you. So the answer is 2, 5, 25. Now question number 172, 30. So 3 here on tens rod and 0 here. Now 4. So 4 I have to use my once rod. Then minus 2 again from once rod only. Then plus 5 again on once rod only. So the answer is 37. 5 plus 2 makes 7, 37. Always remember one thing if we are using tens rod or hundreds rod and, and it has some number given to you just like 4, 5, 6. So we have to use our once rod only until and unless it's not completely filled because we haven't started the uh, you know complements. When we started the com when we are going to start our complements then only you will be able to understand that if your once rod is completely full then how you have to use the complements and you can use the tens rod. Okay, till then you have to uh, do these questions the way I am doing, the way I am explaining. Okay, so the answer is 37. I hope you understood these two questions. So rest of the questions we are going to do in next video. That's all. Thank you.